Welcome to my updated Tiki Taka custom tactic. In this video I will show you the tactic that I use every single game. To be honest I don't ever change it. Um, it's just the way that I play the game, it's the way that I enjoy the game. And if you're good enough at the game, you can have a lot of success with it. So let's get into it. And I will explain as well why I use the defensive style, the width, etc. So for defensive style, I always have it on balanced. You can use press after possession loss, but I personally wouldn't use it because you are just inviting counter attacks um, and a good player will exploit that. When I play against someone who uses that, I back my ability to make the most of it and I can pretty much play through anyone who uses it. So that's the reason why I don't use it. Um, I would rather manually press because like I said in the higher divisions and against better opponents they will exploit that so for me I just like to keep it unbalanced and manually press um, yeah so width just drop it down a little bit more you don't want to be too wide but obviously you want to be compact and the depth I used to run 71 uh, but I'm not the best defender on the game so with playing a 4-1-4-1 which is what this tactic video is I find that having just one CDM can be a bit too vulnerable to that. So I've sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. At the moment, I'm just currently playing on 55 or 50. It doesn't really matter to be honest, um, because as I go into the video, you're keeping the ball that much that your your back line is going to move up anyway. So to be honest, you just want to keep it nice and neutral. Um, Build up play, always, always, always a slow build up. It's just the way that I play this game. Um, I've come from playing on Pez years ago, which is Pro Evolution Soccer. Um, always been a possession player. I don't know how to play any other way. I've never used that. I would never use it. Never use that. I don't even use balance. Sometimes I would use balance at the start of the game, but for the way that I play, I just prefer slow build up. Um, Obviously, your players come short, but you can still manually trigger them to go on an attack. So don't see that and think, my players are going to be static. It's not true. You can send them on runs, like I said, excuse me, or call them short. And it just works in tandem so well with possession. I don't play anything else. I've never tried that. I've never tried that. And I don't even use that because when I've used it before on previous titles, I found that the players are running away from the ball. Now, I want the ball. I want my players to come short. Um, and for me, it's just it's the only way that I can enjoy this game by playing this way. Your players do still make runs. Ignore what it says on there. You just need to be patient, which is if you're trying to play that way, you will see the chances that you do actually create from it. Width, I just have it on 71. Just have it as wide as possible because width is key. As always, Players, again, neutral, one corners, one and three kicks. I don't want to get countered, um, so that's why I have it on that. And let's go to the instructions. I just have my striker on stay forward. I don't touch that. That kind of goes against what we're trying to do. So, again, they will make runs in behind when the time is right. Just let the AI decide when it wants to attack for you like that. Um, I've never used... I've used that before. I just didn't like it especially in a solo formation with one striker, which is what I always enjoy playing. I don't like two striker formations. So for me, just leave them unbalanced. Um, the mixed attack, sorry. On the left midfielder, I have him on comeback on defense. Again, the reason why I have this on and on this side is because when you are keeping the ball for so long to an effective way of scoring eventually, your players are going to be so far up the field that if you lose the ball, you're probably going to get countered. You get countered on this game even if you don't play that way. So for me, I need to maintain that shape when I really lose possession, being able to press. That's why I have that on. Um, stay wide. Again, I don't want them to be cutting in. Again, I just found that on this game, sometimes there's never any space and the middle is so congested with whatever formation you play. So for me, stay wide. They still cut in due to the instruction of get into the box across. And I have that also on the other winger as well. 
the centre mids balance the attack on every, all of them. Um, I just have them on cover centre, not on the wing, because obviously we have Saka coming back and Gnabry on the other side. Excuse me, so that is why they are in the middle. It's easier to press with the three in the middle. Um, for Brandt, we have the same, just cover centre, nothing crazy. Paulinho, uh, we have him on stay back, cover centre. This deep line playmaker can work. I just find that with him, for me personally, I like to use the deep line playmaker role on someone who can really, really pass. Paulinho is good, don't get me wrong, but like players like Jorginho, um, obviously Bellingham will be team of the season. Bellingham will be exceptional. Kimmich is another one. He would suit that role really well. Those are the kind of players that you want there that can have exceptional passing stats for that to work. But because we're playing a one CDM, I just want him to stick to position and use him there. I don't want him drifting to the right hand side in between my fullback or to the left hand side because then you are vulnerable to counters. So just keep him there. Uh, Sinchenko stay back while attacking always. Um, you can run balanced, but I would not advise that because this game is so counter attack orientated anyway. And again, we are trying to keep the ball. Um, I will always send my fullbacks on manual runs or activate attacking fullbacks from the D pad, which is, I believe, down and left, I think, on the D pad. That is what I would use. Or I will send them again, like I said, on manual runs. Um, I don't want them bombing forward. I will rather bring them forward myself. Then I know that the other, on the other side, the other fullback is there to protect the other the two centre backs and the keeper. Nothing on the centre backs. Again, on the other side, stay back. I've never really tried inverted. I like the idea of it because in theory, Cancelo will tuck in between Brunt and Gnabry. But I also want the outlet of my fullbacks going beyond Gnabry and Saka when I do have the ball because um, playing it down the line is so important in this in this formation and in any formation to maintain possession because that is where the space usually is so we're trying to exploit that I always have them on overlap like I said and for the keeper comes for crosses sweeper keeper nothing really fancy so that is it if there's anything that you want to ask me in regards to players, uh, what kind of players you want to use, I can more than happy to do a video on that. Or anything regarding the tactic, drop it in the comments and I will get back to you. But that is it. It's just a, for my favourite formation to play. I believe that the 4 on 4 one is the best formation for possession. Uh, you can have a lot of success with the 4 2 3 one wide. Again, it's the same instructions really. It's nothing crazy but I feel like having a the extra money midfield in this formation with having two CMs they're essentially cams anyway so it's a lot more attacking and I want to attack I don't want to defend I want to try and score beautiful goals in this game and that's for how I enjoy playing the game so for me the 4141 is the best formation for that that's going to be it like I said any questions just drop them in the comments and that is it but for now that's it peace